If you are a new user on Airtable, you must have wondered at some point, is Airtable the right place for me to store my data? Or should I go back to using my spreadsheet tool that I've already got set up on my computer? If that's a question you've been wondering about, then you've come to the right place because today we're going to go through a series of feature sets within both Airtable and spreadsheet tools to really help you decide which tool is right for you. Now, I'm assuming you already know some basic things about spreadsheets, whether it's Excel or Google Sheets, that we're going to mainly focus the demo portion on just Airtable. My name is Cherry Yang, and I'm the founder of AirOps Consulting. We're a full-service Airtable consulting company, helping our clients with all of their Airtable and Zapier needs. If you've got a database you want to build or a workflow you want to automate, then let's get on a call and see how we can help you. If you want to go up your sleeves and master Airtable, our Airtable Bootcamp is going to give you all the knowledge, tools, and support for you to build your own awesome and scalable databases. You can sign up for the course or schedule a call with me at the links down below. The first thing we love about Airtable is the mobile app experience. It's really easy to use and I don't find myself on my phone all the way close up to my face trying to make something larger and type in a particular cell. I really love the experience. You can click into a specific record and edit that record from a top-down approach and it's very, very convenient and user-friendly. Number two, with an Airtable, you don't have to start from scratch. If there is a project management database you would like to build or a content calendar database you'd like to build, you can start from a template and work off of that. The templates are super easy to set up. Just pick the template you want. In this case, we'll use the project management one and you can pick which workspace you would like to add it to. Number three, we also really love Airtable because it's incredibly useful and relevant for so many different use cases, whether you're in the entertainment industry, in PR, in real estate, in nonprofits. We've had clients from all sectors who transitioned from using spreadsheets into using Airtable. And one of the examples I love to give is in the entertainment industry where film production is such a complex workflow and scenario and project that for companies like Netflix to be able to use Airtable to manage their production, that is a really incredible testament to how useful Airtable is. The fourth thing we love about Airtable is the different types of views that you can build. Within a project tracker Airtable base we just used, you can go into the calendar view and this is going to be based on the dates you've set out for the different projects. The really nice thing about this calendar is that you can also interact with it. Not only does it show you a very visual view of your projects that are going on, you can also drag and drop different items or different records within this table to change the dates themselves. The next view we wanted to talk about was the Kanban view. This is incredible for managing projects or managing workflows because you can update the different statuses. I've got one record for first task. At the moment, the first task is unassigned, but if I do drag it into the done section within this Kanban view, we can see that the task itself is going to be updated to done. And finally, onto my favorite view. This is the gallery view. It is so useful, especially for teams that are very visual. We do this often with our sales teams or creative teams. When you've got assets or different types of projects, we like to use a picture that is representative of that project or that asset. Also, if you've got a field sales team, there's all the more reason to use these gallery views because you can take photos of the store or if you are a construction company or a renovations company, you can take a picture of the house or the project that you're working on and upload that as a primary image and have that show on a card in the gallery view. And it just makes things so much more visual, which is something that my clients really love. 
The fifth thing we really love about Airtable is being able to attach documents, whether it's a Word, PDF, or an image. And to attach a document, you can find it in your computer and upload it or drag and drop that document directly into that attachment column. We often see clients struggle with managing their documents because they're using a Google Drive or they are using uh, a Dropbox and it just takes a long time to be able to find that purchase order or to be able to find that invoice and it's just much easier to be able to capture all that in one place. The sixth thing that we wanted to talk about is the activity section for a particular record. It's really awesome to be able to see the changes that have been made to any given record. For example, if somebody created an app mission or if they've updated a status of something, um, any changes on that record will be captured in this activity section. When it comes to spreadsheets, I think Google Sheets and Excel really has a special place in our hearts. Personally, for me, I grew up using spreadsheets all through school and in my first couple of jobs, so I've definitely used it a ton over the years. And even as I say all these great things about Airtable, it makes me feel a little guilty inside because I feel like I'm cheating on spreadsheets. <laughs> but of course, Google Sheets and Excel has existed for so long and they have some really wonderful features. One thing I do love about spreadsheets, depending on the situation, is that you can set up formulas based on the different cells. So for example, you can say in one cell, I want to multiply a number by 10 and another cell, I want to multiply a number by 100 and different cell, you want to multiply a number by a million. And that can all happen within the same column. Whereas in Airtable, you would have to set up that exact same formula and have it apply to every single row within the column. The second thing I do appreciate about Excel is that the reporting can get a lot more granular and ultimately gives you better reporting. In Airtable, you can download some apps which are really good for basic reporting, but it's still a little bit lacking. The third awesome thing about Excel is that Everybody knows someone in their life who knows how to use Excel, whether you're in the office or in the classroom. So it's really easy to get help. Whereas in Airtable, you do have a lot of community resources, Facebook groups and Slack channels available to you. But ultimately, it is a little bit more of a independent learning process. The fourth thing with Google Sheets is simply a matter of adoption. When you are working in a company or a group project, everyone in your company probably has seen, heard, or used Excel for something before. And they likely have it installed in their computer and there's no additional cost to use it. And if somebody pushed back on you for using Excel, you know, I, I would be really baffled. Whereas in Airtable, there is a free version, but depending on the type of company you are at, you might experience some hurdles just getting adoption for the tool. The fifth thing we love about Excel is being able to flash fill. Let's say if you've got a spreadsheet that says project one, project two, project three, you can drag down those rows and it'll continue filling as project four all the way down to project 100. That's a really convenient feature to have within Excel and very easy to use. You can set up the same thing in Airtable, but it's a little bit more involved. You can set up a auto number field that just counts from one all the way through to how many ever records you might have within your table. And then you can create a formula to say, concatenate the word projects and the auto number field. And that would get you the same result. Number six is that you can likely have more rows of data in a spreadsheet. Now in Google Sheets, the number of cells is 5 million. So that's a lot of room to scale because the more formulas and the more tabs you build into a spreadsheet, you've probably experienced some slowdown in terms of speed there. 
We've covered some basic functionality within Airtable and within spreadsheets to hopefully answer your question of which tool is the best option for you. I would definitely say if your team is not open to adopting new tools or solutions or systems, then by all means stick with Excel. And especially if your data is simpler, then a spreadsheet tool will serve you much better. Whereas if you do have some really complex workflows that you're managing, give Airtable a try and it might just become your best friend. And if you really can't decide, then you can go ahead and use your Airtable and use your Google Sheets. And at the end of the day, use a tool like Zapier or Integral Map to integrate the two. Overall, we think spreadsheets are here to stay. They're just so ingrained in a lot of companies' workflows and management and tracking systems. So it's not going anywhere anytime soon. But we really believe after working with so many clients that sometimes with the kind of data or tracking that our clients do in Excel, it's really going to have a better home within a relational database tool like Airtable. Another really great use case for Airtable would be any kind of matching or marketplace that you're trying to set up. Let's say if you're trying to match up teachers with students and there needs to be a one-on-one -on -one relationship created somehow, or if you have some volunteer shifts or call shifts that you want your team to sign up for and different people who could be signing up for those shifts. So it's really great at handling the more complex and matching slash marketplace type of use cases. Now, if you're also considering Airtable as an advanced Excel user, or if you just want to know how far you can take your Airtable database, then keep watching for the explanation on more advanced feature comparisons. My name is Cherry Yang and we at AirOps Consulting want to thank you for investing in your own knowledge base and learning with us. There are even more great lessons and content in our Airtable Bootcamp training course. You can sign up for the course at the links down below. If you need a little extra help with your project or just want to hand it over completely to the professionals, we can help our clients with all of their Airtable and Zapier needs. You can schedule an initial consultation call with me with the links down below as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You don't want to miss this next video.